What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? I asked you a question. It's a hump day editorial. Got an editorial for you today that's really gonna, oh man, if you're a mother out there or a father, this one is gonna piss you off. This one's gonna get on you. This happens every day, it seems like. Every week, somewhere in the nation. And the summer's coming, we're probably gonna see it again. But when it happens to a police officer and for the reasons it happened, I just wanna choke the shit out of her. Here we go. We're going to Mississippi with this one, by the way. Biloxi, Mississippi. A former Mississippi Gulf Coast police officer told a judge Monday that she had sex with her supervisor and then fell asleep while her three-year-old daughter was dying inside an overheated patrol car. Patrol car, not her regular car. Cassie Barker pleaded guilty Monday to manslaughter in a plea bargain after being indicted on a second degree murder charge. Prosecutors recommend the 29 year old Barker spend 20 years in prison. Harrison County Circuit Judge Larry Bourgeois said he wanted more time to consider the case and would sentence the ex Long Beach officer on April 1st. That would be Long Beach, Mississippi, not Long Beach, California, of course. <clears throat> Cheyenne Heyer died September 30th, 2016, after her mother left her strapped in a car seat for four hours while Barker was with her then supervisor at his home. The car was running with the air conditioner turned on, but it wasn't blowing cold air. The girl was unresponsive when Barker returned. Authorities say Hire's body temperature was 107 degrees when she arrived at a nearby hospital. Bourgeois, Judge Bourgeois, said to Barker, quote, I don't know what I could ever do to you that could be worse than what you've already experienced. You will forever be entombed in a prison of your own mind. Barker had been free on bail, but was arrested Monday after pleading guilty. Barker, who was working two jobs at the time, originally claimed she had been talking to Clark Ladner at his house early on a hot weekday morning when she fell asleep. Ladner and Barker were fired by the city of Long Beach within days. Ladner hasn't been criminally charged, telling officials he didn't know the girl was in the car. Yeah, but what about, okay, maybe not criminal, but what about having sex with a subordinate? Isn't that against policy? In most businesses, I would think. <clears throat> Can't do it on my job. <clears throat> it's called um, fraternization. Reports at the time indicated Ladner told officials he had been taken a sleep aid. He had taken a sleep aid and also fallen asleep. The mother had left her daughter alone in a car at least once before, allegedly, at a store in nearby Gulfport in April 2015. Police responded and child welfare, welfare officials took temporary custody of the girl at that time. Barker was suspended from the Long Beach Police for a week without pay. The girl's father, Ryan Heyer, said he was never notified of that first incident. So she leaves her daughter in the car. Now we know there probably are police records that show they went, they responded there, they took the child and uh, protective services took the child. That first time she gets a week without pay. Bad baby, bad baby. Going on, <clears throat> Ryan Heyer, the father said Monday, quote, every time I close my eyes, I picture her suffering and then I picture her laying in this coffin. I still see her smiling and laughing in my head and I would assume that smile and laughter turned to pain and suffering in that instance. The father is suing the Long Beach Police Department and the Mississippi Department of Child Protection Services for the wrongful death of his child, saying the Child Welfare Agency should have taken stronger action after that first incident. As a parent, he said, you are supposed to protect your child and Cheyenne is gone because her mother didn't protect her, not once, but twice. Bake Barker 
was hospitalized after the girl's death for what officials described as shock. Pooey on her. A psychological exam showed Barker suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder attributed to childhood trauma and her daughter's death. She was found competent to stand trial. Well, it says she suffered post-traumatic stress disorder, you know, after her daughter's death. Pooh, I don't give a crap. She should suffer a lot more than that. You got soldiers coming back from Afghanistan. They have post-traumatic stress disorder. What you have, bitch, is called a guilty conscience. Sorry, I'm a father. I have six kids. And I... Mmm... Going on. Um, oh, that was the end of the story. So uh, she's competent to stand trial. Well, let's see what happens. April 1st, uh, I don't know if it said it in this story, but I read like three of these. I was going through different ones. And April 1st is going to be the uh, sentencing. I'm so mad right now. I want to know what you guys think. I'm going to post the link to this whole story in the description box below. News now, you kept letting you know what's going on with law enforcement across your nation. These are two cops who decided to have sex while her kid was in the patrol car. Patrol car. What if she got a, a, a call for a shooting suspect? Is she going to take the kid along? News now, you kept letting me know what you guys think. Thank you. And happy hump day.